Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS and the Dave Reynolds Nooner. Do you know where your wife is? Well, the anti-vax conspiracy nut jobs seem to have no shame. Just a few days after Betty White passed away at age 99, the late actress's cause of death has been revealed. Her agent, Jeff Wittes, told reporters Betty died peacefully in her sleep at her home. Wittes also clarified whether White had gotten her booster shot on December 28th. Quote, people are saying her death was related to getting a booster shot three days earlier, but that is simply not true. She died of natural causes. Her death should not be politicized. That is not the life she lived. Rumor has it Tory Spelling is thinking of filing for divorce from Dean McDermott. A sensual feminine beauty like that won't stay single for long, and Tory Spelling should have no problem getting dates either. Kirsten Stewart revealed to Howard Stern that she's engaged to the love of her life. So, congratulations to Kirsten Stewart from Kirsten Stewart. New report claims that dancing makes you smarter and healthier. The results were gathered from studies performed nowhere near Paula Abdul. And scientists claim that hops, a main ingredient in beer, has medicinal properties. Appropriate, since for me, it helps me numb the pain that I've spent too much money on booze. Here's Frank D'Angelo on the Dave Reynolds Nooner on NSS. You hold me tight, you make me whole 
inside the mirror I know that there's nothing really left to fear Cause I'm the one that's gotta deal with me Me and he, that's one person Cause I'm the guy when I go to bed and I wake up I know that in the morning I gotta pull all my strength And deal with the world because it's me against me And it's me against the world And if you have one thing in your life While you walk this planet for this brief time
Well, we all kind of knew this was coming. A judge has dismissed the lawsuit filed against the surviving members of Nirvana over the cover image of their iconic 1991 album, Nevermind. Last year, Spencer Eldon, the baby pictured naked on the front of the album, claimed the image on the cover was taken and used without his consent, and the nudity amounts to an image of child abuse. Monday, the judge presiding over the case at the U.S. District Court in Central California dismissed the case after Eldon missed his deadline to file an opposition to the defendant's motion to dismiss. A new COVID variant has turned up in France. The boss thinks he has this French variant. It's hard to tell, though, since he's always rude. Sixteen workers at an Antarctica station have been hit by a COVID outbreak. In this situation, it's kind of hard to stay home from work, I think. According to a government survey, nearly half of all U.S. high school students admit to drinking alcohol illegally, and the other half were too hungover to answer the survey. President Biden was briefly trapped on Air Force One because of heavy snow in Washington, which, of course, because trapped rhymes with napped, which is what he probably did. Washington, D.C. got over 14 inches of snow. Usually it's something else that's really deep in D.C. And according to a new study, men are discriminated against in the workplace and prevented from climbing the corporate ladder if they're too good-looking. Yeah, tell me something I don't already know. Here's Frank D'Angelo on the Dave Reynolds Nooner on NSS.
the big rumor is Sony and Marvel Studios are planning a huge campaign for Spider-Man No Way Home to take home Oscar awards, including Best Picture. In connection to the news, rumors have circulated that Tom Holland is in the running to host the Oscars, although that remains unconfirmed. And from I sure was an asshole file... Andy Cohen is addressing his nasty comments towards Ryan Seacrest over the weekend. During his CNN broadcast with Anderson Cooper on New Year's Eve, the TV host threw some shade at the ABC special Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest, calling the performers a group of losers. He said, I'm sorry, but if you're watching ABC, you're watching nothing. Now, the 53-year-old Bravo producer is owning up to his drunken mistakes and taking back the unnecessary comments he made about Seacrest and his ABC show. The only thing that I regret saying, the only thing is that I slammed the ABC broadcast and I really like Ryan Seacrest. He's a great guy. I really regret saying that and I was just stupid and drunk and feeling it. I just kept talking when I shouldn't have. Here's Frank D'Angelo on the Dave Reynolds Nooner on NSS. <laughs> Oh, 
should I just set you free? Why is it that I lose when I let my heart choose? Why do things get confused just because you refuse? Now it's time for me to go. Open that we had some fun. You know that it's been so hard. I tried to tell you. Great run. 
Just one.